Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, it's a hot Monday, and we're serving up a supersized helping of juicy hot topics. Plus, Birdman is linked to an alleged murder plot against Lil Wayne. The Gossip Table's Marianne Garvey has the inside scoop. And we'll show you how to heat up your summer with the hottest fashions for every occasion. Now, here's Wendy! It's time for Hot Topics. presented my third collection at HSN on Saturday. <laughs> Weekends at Wendy was very successful. I wanna thank everybody who tuned in and I hope you enjoy my fashions. I'll be back at HSN in September. And you know, HSN is in Tampa. So um, then on Saturday night, same day, it was my birthday too, but same day. Um, I, <laughs> I, uh, I did, I did my first show, my kickoff show of my sit-down comedy uh, show. Now look, now here's the deal. Okay, so I was in St. Pete, which is right next to Tampa at the Mahaffey Theater. And there were 1,600 people there and you all gave me a standing ovation and I appreciate the love. And you know what? I was only supposed to be on stage for an hour. I was on stage because I had a lot to say. <laughs> for an hour and 34 minutes. Thank you. But I was looking at my Facebook page and uh, there was a young lady who said to me that she had the time of her life there, but there was an older couple sitting behind her. Now I couldn't see this because the lights are bright, you know what I mean? But um, apparently the older couple part way through the set got up and walked out. Oh. Well, Jay Anthony Brown from the Tom Joyner Morning Show told me you're not a comedian until somebody walks out. <laughs> Now, I suspect the older couple walked out because of the content of what I was saying. But I try to tell you all, it's not talk show Wendy. It, it, it's raw. Yeah. Raw. You know? And I travel with a set and my DJ Omanaya was there turning it up. And my hype man here at the show, Marco, comes, so we give you a full show. But it's, it's full of every single salty word you can name. And the stories I tell include murder, death, private parts, kids. Like, so please, for those of you who are gonna join me for my next 12 dates, understand, Wendy gets down with the raw. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> so the tour wraps up on September 12th in Morristown, New Jersey. Thank you. And thank you, by the way, for all of my birthday wishes. Thank you very much. All right, so let's move along because Sierra and Russell Wilson are getting serious. I don't like this one bit. They went to the Kids' Choice Sports Awards together and um, Sierra brought her son, um, Future Junior. And so was the three of them like a family oh. on the red carpet. Oh. And Russell hosted. Oh. 
Which, by the way, somebody here said that he was real boring. <laughs> well, and, but he's not a host. He plays football. He's just trying to keep occupied in the off season. So that's not a read. That was just an observation. I didn't even know Nickelodeon had a sport, sports um, award show thing, but good for them. This little future is cute. Well, there's one person who wasn't happy that uh, the little boy was there or for the couple, and you know who that is. Future, Sierra's ex. I agree with Future. He's furious because Russell is spending so much time with his son after only dating Sierra for like a minute, a couple of months. And here's what Future says. He says, that's like the number one rule. You don't even bring a man around your son. You only know, th know, know this dude for a few months and you're bringing him around your kid. Who does that? Nobody does that. Well, you know what? <laughs> Plenty. <laughs> he clapped loud, right, Suzanne? <laughs> he's a loud, he, he's a loud clapper. In yeah, no, five. no, we love loud clappers oh. here. <laughs> yeah, yes. Um, <laughs> that's him. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, I feel that, you know, there are a lot of people, unfortunately, future, that bring people around their kids too soon, but it only hurts when it's done to you. And so I think that Sierra is, Sierra, you know I love you, but I'm a straight shooter, pow pow. <laughs> and I'm just saying, I feel like you are not into this dude like that and that you were using this as an opportunity to stay out here because people aren't buying music. And Russell, you are equally opportuning on her because it's off season in football and you kind of might like to be on a red carpet with a beautiful woman. <laughs> and releasing the statement, Russell, that you all aren't having sex and that you ask us to pray for you, that's all a part of the whole, um, he wants to stay out there. Isn't that something between a couple and not yeah. something that, especially, you know, like, my thought is, you know, young adults say they're not having sex and that's fine. Like if you're 18 dating an 18 year old or if you're 22 or whatever, but you all aren't even any virgins, okay? <laughs> so please. <laughs> and just because you're not having sex doesn't mean you're not doing things. So please, y you know, it's okay. Okay, here's my thing also about this whole opportunist thing. If you're gonna slip and introduce your kid to your new man or your new boo thing within, you know, a one year time of you all dating, then do it in the house in private with the blinds closed. Like not publicly, like, like, don't go to the mall together for people to see you and judge you. And don't go on a red carpet together for people to see you and judge you. Cause we're seeing you and we're judging you. And I think this relationship is about as phony as a $3 bill. I do, I do, I do. And while I know that Sierra loves her child, she's using her child as a pawn for publicity, but also probably to get back at Future. And by the way, I also feel like the relationship she was in with Future was, she said, uh-oh. <laughs> no, I, I felt like, here's my thing about Cece. If I call her Cece, it, it sounds better, right? <laughs> here's my feeling about Cece. I think that Cece is like Lala Anthony. I think that she's like Kim Kardashian. I think that she's like a lot of these girls who would do almost anything to stay in front of you all and here on Hot Topics. That's all, yeah. And so I called it, but I'm sure you knew it anyway. The home invasion at Chris Brown's was uh, probably an inside job. Oh. Well, with all those reckless people that he hangs out with, why would you think that this would be a stranger robbing him? You know, Chris Brown has no friends. 
I mean, and I, I don't know this, but in my, like it's hard when you're a celebrity to acquire friends because you don't know what people are looking for. And if you're gonna be loose with your house and you know, you know, and all that's in it, I don't care whether it's a Fabergé egg, they know what they're gonna come back and steal. Especially when they see if by chance you're blowing trees and drinking brown liquor and about to go out on tour. And they know the makeup of the security system. Well, the robbers reportedly knew who Chris was and they also knew recently that he was paid $50,000 in cash for an appearance. Well, no, that's not the thing because some people take that cash to the bank. But apparently, they knew that Chris puts it in a safe in his house. How do they know that? Young people bragging, I guess. You know, yo. (laughs) You know. Fanning the money out, playing with it, throwing it up, picking it up. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like you, you can imagine. Like you can't be loose with your house. Not just who you let in, but what they see and what they know. When you have people in your house, you can keep them confined to one area, the kitchen table. And look, and you don't even let them use your formal bathrooms. You let them use the bathroom in the laundry room. And you make sure that your good hang dry Versace clothes are not in there. So there, there's no laundry in the laundry. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yes. I know I'm not crazy. Okay, so, and, and then, um, you know, I was asked this morning, well, is it good to keep cash in the house? I was like, yeah, everybody needs to keep a couple of dollars in the house. Only because I know like here in New York, there've been so many different instances, including 9-11, including the blackout. Remember the blackout? Which rolled out to Jersey. Um, When things like that happen, or like if you live in California, the earthquakes and stuff, these natural disasters, they happen. And then what goes down is if if your car is not tapped off, like say you're like me and you pull in on a cough of gas, You know, and leave it for my husband. Do you do that if you're a woman? Okay. You wanna be a man? Be a man. Get me some gas. I have never pumped gas in my life. Well, first of all, in Jersey, they pump the gas for you. But, but, you know, but even if they made a rule where I had to pump, I'm like, I'm not pumping gas. You know, that's what men are for. You know? I mean, if I was single, I guess I'd pump the gas. Although, I remember I worked in Washington, D.C., and, um, and this, was, this was years ago at WOL, and um, um, uh, this was in the 80s, and um, in Washington, you, ha- you have to pump your own gas. Yeah. And I remember slipping like $5 to the guys there. <laughs> You know, can you pump my gas? So yeah, I've never touched a gas pump. I don't know that for nothing. I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, when the blackout or a natural disaster hits you, you're gonna need that money in your house because all the credit card machines get turned off. And don't think that you're slick by having a stack of $100 bills because if you only need $50 or $10 worth of gas, there's no change. So now you have to give him the full 100. What you do is you have a couple of hundreds and then you have some fives, ones, and tens and you don't use that money when you're too lazy to go to the ATM. Otherwise, you're defeating the purpose, you know? And the money should always be in a place where you can get it even when the lights are out. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, on a side note, Back to the Chris Brown thing, I called this right too, only the show was over. Because I said, because I said, I think I made a comment like, you know, always oh, aunt. In my mind, I'm picturing like Medea in the house frying catfish or something like that. But then when the show was over, you know, I said to my staff, I said, you know what? How much you want to bet the aunt was probably in the mix, like one of the, them young, young aunts doing it big in the club? It turns out, here's her picture. Okay, okay. 
so remember, this robbery happened at three o'clock in the morning. The gunmen had guns and they had masks over their face. And remember, they, they, she heard noise outside and opened the door, oh. which who does that? Oh. At two and three o'clock in the morning. And then they um, tied her up and threw her in the closet. So it's all, it's all very unfortunate. The robbery also may hurt um, Chris's custody battle with his baby's mother, Nia. Oh. It better hurt it. Because I'm gonna tell you something right now. If Chris wants to keep rolling with a rough crowd and endangering my royalty, the little girl, then you need supervised visits and only sometimes custody. Yeah. It's allergy season like a mug, right? And it's gonna be so hot here in New York today. It's, go, it's going up to 93 degrees, but they say it's gonna feel like 105. Oh. It's bad hair day for everybody. And my, ja my Jason, the white one, he said that he was coming to work this morning. Like he takes the subway and then he walks the block. He said that his glasses were fogging up. <laughs> <laughs> but your hair looks good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jason looked like Clark Kent from Superman. Oh, yes. yes, exactly. <laughs> anyway, so Donald Trump is number one in the polls. Well, listen, it's real easy to judge for all the dumb stuff that comes out of his mouth. However, there are people in this country who apparently like to hear straight talk and are digging his straight talk, which is scary. Governor Christie over in New Jersey is number nine in the polls. Aww. Like he doesn't even have a horse in the race, <laughs> which is wild to me. Anyway, so Donald, um, the re most recent thing you've heard, he said that John McCain isn't a war hero because he was captured. I say, I say anybody who goes to war is a war hero. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and then there's some people who say, well, you're not a hero unless you escape. I say, okay, well, um, how about he got captured, but he was able to talk his way out of it and live to tell the story. That's some good negotiating right there. Well, our friends at the Huffington Post are now covering the Trump um, you know, bid for the White House at, in their entertainment section. <laughs> They're no longer putting it in the political section, which means that Donald is gonna be covered along with the Kardashians <laughs> and Bill Cosby in them. <laughs> People were waiting for me to talk about Bill Cosby, you know, on my stand-up or my sit-down tour. And I was like, what's the talk about? Guilty, next. <laughs> next. <laughs> I know you heard what happened to Demi Moore at her house. Yes. At the Demi Moore house, horrible. A, a man was found dead in her pool over the weekend. Oh. Well, Demi's employee, they're saying her assistant, threw a pool party while Demi's out of the country. Oh. Now, a man who couldn't swim fell in and drowned. Oh. And I know what you're saying in my mind. Well, you know, who has the nerve to throw a party? And I said, well, look, if I, look whose keys I have. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> and you know, I found out it wasn't a party, like with 300 people, she had a set. A set is, <laughs> a set is like, you know, 15 or under. There were like six people at the set. Not like, there were six people at the set. And apparently, um, and I would have, I would have done the same thing too. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, I wouldn't want it done to me. <laughs> but w wouldn't you have done the same thing, like have a set at Demi Moore's house if you were the assistant and you have the keys? Yeah. Well, apparently they went out. At the end of the set, they all went out, you know, to the club or to a restaurant or something. Now, what, and, and by the way, they didn't discover the body until they came back from the set. I mean, from, from being out. Now, what point do you say? 
Don't laugh, please don't laugh. Where's Roger? <laughs> you know, if you're all leaving the house to drive her Range Rover to Bootsy Bellows or wherever you're gonna go party, why wouldn't you notice that David's not in the car? <laughs> you know? Anyway, um, I don't know what part of responsibility Demi will have in this. She's heartbroken, as you can well imagine. She's out of town, maybe there'll be a civil lawsuit, but there's definitely a fireation of the assistant. And also, ruining her career for anybody else to hire her. Horrible. <laughs> it's lemony. Fantasia got married over the weekend. It's our celebrity shout out. Hit it. Yep. Fantasia and I always go in and out of it. One day she likes me, the next day she doesn't. But Fantasia, you know, we've known each other since radio and I'm just doing my job. But congratulations, you look very, very happy here. Yes. Um, and her man looks handsome. His name is Kendall. And they tied the knot on a luxurious yacht on Saturday. Kendall runs a courier company. And Fantasia is 31. But she has lived so hard and had her heart broken so many times, she's like lived like a 71 year old. I don't mean that in a bad way, I just mean, you know, Fantasia has lived. You know? And so. And she's got two children. She's got two babies' fathers. You know, she's got a 13-year-old, and um, she's got a three-year-old by the T-Mobile man. <laughs> Sometimes it's not what you say, it's how you say it. I'm just saying, she met him at the T-Mobile store. She went to upgrade her minutes, and lo they locked eyes, and you know. And then, remember the story. Remember? He was married, they started messing around, she got pregnant, their baby is now three, the T-Mobile man is now back with his wife. F Fantasia got mad at me because I had to talk about the whole story and why would close your legs to married men? Like why would you, like. Anyway, but she looks happy now. I'm glad that you made it through the fire. Congratulations, Fantasia. And you keep clapping, we've got more fantastic show for you. Fashion expert, Jackie Moran is here, and she's gonna show us the hottest summer of fashion for every occasion. But up next, our friend Marianne Garvey is giving us the inside scoop on the alleged murder plot against Little Wayne. So grab a snack and come on back. and she's rock and roll royalty. George Hamilton and Kimberly Stewart are here. And make the burger that brings them all to the yard. Delicious ideas from Top Chef All-Star Spike Mendelson. Tomorrow on an all-new Wendy. And here with some juicy stories from the gossip table on VH1 is our friend Marion Garvey. Yeah. Welcome Hi. back. Thank you. Okay, let's talk 19 Kids and Counting. Okay, the show has officially now been canceled. Yeah. Right? Um, so TLC has made the announcement that the show's officially canceled. They had, people thought it was canceled because they pulled all of the episodes in May and they weren't showing anything, but they now have officially canceled it uh, following the scandal with Josh Duggar, and he was accused and uh, admitted to molesting uh, his two sisters, Jill and Jessa, in now, addition now to three other young girls. he's the oldest of the 19 kids, right? He is, yes. Yeah. 
And so has the family spoken out? The family has spoken out. They gave a statement. They uh -huh. said, with God's grace and help, Josh, our daughters, and our entire family overcame a terrible situation, found healing and a way forward. We are so pleased with the wonderful adults they have all become, kind of avoiding the whole yeah. situation. Well, now, this um, show was a big moneymaker for TLC. Oh, my God. They had, like, 3.2 million uh, viewers per episode. But I mean, I, it was huge. But I think the pressure of, you know, us thinking that this show needs to go away. So have they cut all ties, though, with the family? No, they have not. They're actually, TLC is going to do some damage control. This was such a hit for them, they don't want to totally cut ties. Okay. So what the network is doing is working on a one-hour documentary, which will teach people about child sexual abuse, molestation. The two girls, Jill and Jessa, oh. are involved in that uh, special, and TLC's working on that now. And they're also working on a spin-off with the younger Duggar kids in the future. So it's going to take some time, but they're going to get back into running shows with them. So. I think it's a good idea to have that documentary. Yeah, of course. It'll be educational. Yeah. It'll, it'll help. Yes. So they're not cutting ties, no. but they're, they're doing it in a good way. Yeah. Okay, so um, Birdman has been linked to a murder plot against Little Wayne. Uh, yes. How did this... How, how did this <laughs> okay, this how did was all begin? <laughs> kind of convoluted with all the names involved and everything like okay. that. But so Birdman uh, it's is... convoluted with it, those teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the tattoos. Yeah. Um, so, no. so uh, Birdman uh, and Lil Wayne used to be very, very close. Lil mm -hmm. Wayne called him a father figure, looked up to him. Birdman's the godfather to Lil Wayne's daughter. Mm -hmm. So Birdman has a record label, Cash Money Records. Right. And on this record label is a, a rapper named Young Thug. So Young Thug, uh, <laughs> I know, there's <laughs> so many names. So a man named Jimmy Winfrey back in April was uh, accused and alleged shot at Lil Wayne's tour bus. We talked about this on Hot Topics. Yep. So uh, he was accused of shooting at his tour bus. He was arrested on June 2nd. He was charged with aggravated assault, amongst other things. Uh, and he uh, was taken in for questioning. And so Jimmy, <laughs> sorry, so uh, Lil Wayne uh, brought a lawsuit against Birdman, charging him, uh, he said he was due $8 million uh, owed from his record company. He okay. then dropped the lawsuit, so these two had a huge falling out. And, and recently, <laughs> um, Birdman doused Lil Wayne with drinks at the club, so there's a whole lot going on. So Birdman, Lil Thug, and Jimmy Winfrey are all Bird in cahoots. <laughs> are all in cahoots. And uh, yes, he was accused at a club of throwing liquor bottles at Lil Wayne. So even though this lawsuit's dropped, the beef is not over. These two don't like each other. Uh, but Birdman is not being charged as of now. He, he can be called in for questioning, but he has not been charged. It's so funny hearing this hood story coming out of a nice white lady's I, mouth. I, <laughs> I said... I, I mean, but you, but you, you did that, though, Marion. You, you do all the players. You were very I official. Like, to me, I'm like, isn't Birdman a movie starring Michael Douglas? No, you, like, you so told that story like your name is Shaniqua. <laughs> you, you, just, you did it. Okay, so one of the important things to remember with this story, though, is that before uh, Mr. Winfrey shot at, um, Bur at Little Wayne's bus, there was a phone call placed to Young Thug before the shooting, and then a, 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 and then a phone call placed to Birdman afterwards. Right, so something's fishy. Something is very fishy, so allegedly. So these two were also named in the indictment against Jimmy Winfrey, so that's how they're all connected. Uh oh <laughs> All right, Jordan Sparks. Okay, so Jordan Sparks, uh, she's in love again, but like deep in love. Don't she's hearing it like that. Well, that's what young people do. I guess she's 25. She's 25. She went out with Jason Derulo for three years, but they were madly in love. They okay. broke up in September. She's madly in love again. She okay. seems to be over that relationship. Well, excuse me, that was seven months ago when they <laughs> broke up. Right, you're young. Time sped up. Okay, so this is what she says about her new He's relationship cute too. with Sage the Gemini. He looks like Jason Derulo. She he does look like Jason Derulo. Uh, so Jordan Sparks said this, it's very early, but I'm not the type of person who stays in a relationship if I can't see it going further than a casual relationship. Okay. I could see marriage, but we haven't really planned anything. He does call me his wife, though. Oh. And this is about the new boyfriend. I don't like that part. <laughs> I don't like that part. Uh, um, but he is really cute. He looks like he'd be a nice man. He's Can we do a side-by-side -side with him and Jason Derulo, though, to see that she has a, she, yeah, she has a type. Oh. And that type same is cute. Style, same style. Same facial hair. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, well.
Marianne, Marianne, thank you. It was very nice to see you again. Thank you. Uh, she's on the gossip table on VH1, everybody. For more stories like this, check her out. Hot Topic Sound Off is next. Don't go far. I love the opinions of my co-host. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? My name's Jessica. How you doing? She was just telling me that this was on her bucket list, and she's from Philly, so thanks for being here, Jessica. Hi. I wanted to sound off on 19 Kids and Counting, the okay. Duggars. Um, so I wasn't always a big fan of the show. Is less of a fan now. I actually think the TLC is handling it really well. Me too. I like the idea of the documentary. Mm -hmm. I think it's really great. I don't really care that the statue's gone. I think he's guilty. He's guilty. Yes. I think they, they're really handling it well. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Have a seat. Thank you. Here you go. Hi, Wendy. I'm Janet. How you doing? Hey, Jen. I want to sound off on Chris Brown. Okay. Chris, you're an idiot. <laughs> You have to get kicked in your behind before you get your butt off the fence. Stop letting people into your house. Stop giving people access to all that you have. And a quick solution to your problem, get a bank account. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How are you? This man right here is Roy Wood Jr. And he's my opening act on my sit-down tour. <laughs> Oh, man. Roy is funny as I don't know what. Okay, so Roy, what are you sounding off about? First, I have to sound off on all the love you got in the Tampa Bay area. Oh, with the show yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your fans, I've never seen anything like that. People was bringing you cakes and blankets. I don't get cakes and blankets. <laughs> that was amazing. My man. watchers are the best. Oh, it was yeah. wonderful. I want to sound off about Sierra and Future. Okay and Russell Wilson of the Seahawks. Okay, go ahead. This is the problem. This is why Future is mad. His son is being, you know, being around Russell Wilson. That kid gonna grow up a Seahawks fan. That's not fair. <laughs> disrespectful. <laughs> this man is in Atlanta. That kid should be raised a Falcons fan. <laughs> it's bad enough you with another man, but my son gonna be walking around in his jersey in the house. <laughs> That's rude. My dad is from Chicago. I grew up a Miami Dolphins fan. He never forgave me. <laughs> Oh, me. Roy, what a mess. <laughs> Listen, Roy and I continue. We've got 12 more cities to go on our tour, our sit-down comedy tour. The next three cities are Milwaukee, St. Louis, mm -hmm. and Kansas City. Yeah. 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 Go to wendyshow.com. Up next, summer styles for every occasion. Don't go far. of the guilty pleasure Sharknado 3. Ian Deering and Tara Reid join me on the couch. And I have one thing to say. I guess I've said more than that, but you know who's got your hot topic. Need I say more? Wednesday on an all-new Wendy. So here to show us this season's hottest fashions for every occasion. Welcome to our show style expert, Jackie Marin. Yes. Jackie! Hi, Wendy. So uh, now's the perfect time to shop for summer deals. That's what they say. I am telling you, some people are thinking of summer. They think of the beach. They think of the barbecue. I'm thinking about the sample sale, Wendy. Yes. Because that's where it is at. You can get designer pieces for less. And bargain retailers are having their sales, too. I'm talking less than a latte. Okay, so let's get our fashion show started. Yes, As usual, our models are Wendy Watchers from our studio audience. Naomi's coming out. Picture yes. her heading for brunch in this. Yes. yes. Look at Naomi. Very nice. She's an EMT. She's looking like Naomi Campbell right now. I have to say this. She is wearing my ultimate summer staple. If you're going to be stranded on a desert island, you want your little white dress. Is this two pieces? But this is a dress. It's one piece. One piece. It's easy. Throw on and go. Let me see the back. She's brunch ready right now. She's Love beach it. ready. Love Throw it. on your heels yeah. and you're ready for the white party. I absolutely love the way she's accessorizing her Triple Grace's shades. Her Joe Fresh hat is $4.95, yes. Wendy. Yes. I mean, incredible. The pattern tote, 
You can take that anywhere from the market to lunch with your friends. The pop of yellow shoe is everything, and flats can be Perfect. stylish. I am telling you they now. Can. They can. Especially for summer. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you, Naomi. Work it, girl. Okay. Camille is yes. next. Picture Camille. Camille going to dinner. Yes, absolutely. Love it. She has a lot to celebrate. She just became certified as a physician's assistant. Good for and you, Camille. This is how you do what's cooler than cool for summer. Cool it's the marriage between the skirt and the pant, yeah. and the stripes are everything right now. But even better, Wendy, it's a jumpsuit. It's one piece. One piece. She could rock this so many different ways. I am on the blazer. I am gagging that the shoes match the outfit to a T. Isn't like, it incredible? They're just $19.99. Really? From Charlotte Ruth. Color blocking, come and knocking. I'm all for it. And her designer jewelry, just $19 a month with Rock's Box. Rock's it's, Box. And I like, it, I like your bag. Pop a color bag. And does your hair. Everything. I know. Isn't she incredible? Yeah. And that red lip. Don't forget a little coral lip for a little pop if you're wearing your neutrals. It's Thank everything. You. Thank you, Camille. Camille, you look amazing. Yep, perfect. Love All right. It. Laura is our next model. Picture her going to a summer barbecue. Oh, perfect. Yes. I mean, she's totally... Yep. First of all, how do you get those legs working at a bank? I'm going to find out, but that's what she does, <laughs> and she has incredible <laughs> legs for it. Here's what I love. Put your denim shirt to work. This Price is just $34.95 from Just Fab, and you can wear it a million different ways. It takes this gorgeous summer dress, turns it into a skirt and a top in an instant. Mm -hmm. The messenger bag, your hands free, those... I was right? just thinking that when you go to a barbecue, you know you want your plate and your drink. Right. And, and, Baked beans in one hand, potato salad in the other. Yes. You want to be ready to go. And speaking of which, you don't want your stilettos to sink into the ground no. at the summer barbecue, so no. the espadrille is everything. You definitely want to have that. The accessories by Trina Turk, it's her 20th anniversary collection, started just $58. She's accessorized for the day and the night. She Love looks it. incredible. Let's bring all of our models up. Come on. Yes. All right, we have one more. Yeah, one more. We can't forget the hottest Sorry. one. <laughs> Laura, okay, thank you. Um, now it's Kelly. Picture yes. Kelly going to a summer wedding. Oh, my um, God, dude. Perfect. She's bringing perfect. sexy back. Perfect. She's bringing sexy back. You know, we go out, we think we have to buy a dress just for an occasion. Put your maxi dress to work. All you have to do right. is accessorize to the occasion. Take off the flat, right. put on a silver shoe. $29.90 from Forever 21. You know what? I'm ready to go. And the reason that this works for a wedding is because it's not a pattern maxi dress. Exactly. It's a solid color maxi. This is perfect. Okay, Naomi, Camille, Laura, come on up come on and join out, Kelly. You all did a fantastic job. Look at how great they look. Jackie, great to see you again. Wendy. For more information on all these looks, log on to wendyshow.com. Ask Wendy is next. There's so much more of The Wendy Show at wendyshow.com. Watch must-see moments, catch my after show, and enter for your chance to win some amazing free stuff. Check out wendyshow.com today. Welcome back. It's time for Ask Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? Good. How can I help? Hi, Wendy. My name is Dana. Um, my husband is the life of the party everywhere we go. Uh -huh. He has a very bad habit of always wanting to buy drinks. Um, anytime we go to the nightclub, any bar, he buys drinks for his friends, my friends, my friends' friends. He'll drink, he'll buy drinks for anyone. Can you all afford this? He just loves it. He loves to treat people. I would say I would prefer the money to go in the bank, yeah. but he, he loves it. Well, drinks are expensive, so about, how, like, if you go out to the club tonight, how much do you think he will trick up? Um, <laughs> probably 300. How many kids do you all have? Three. How old are they? They're 18, 19, and 20. Oh, yeah. Um, you have to talk to him. Yeah, because he's a turn-up king. And talk, but you know what? It, people will... It's, listen, you can't buy your way into people liking you. You know, right. ultimately speaking, you can buy your way into the initial like, but you can't keep them there by buying... It, it, just talk to him. He's a grown man. I'm trying. All right, it's... we'll talk harder. <laughs> Good luck, Dana. Hi, my name's Sarah. I'm from Philadelphia. Uh -huh. So I just uh, re-entered the dating scene a little while ago, maybe six months. Uh -huh. Having a nice time, feeling it out, meeting some people. Uh -huh. Just wondering, so now I have about three gentlemen on my roster. <laughs> Who's listen, judging? Listen, listen. Thank, she didn't thank say you. she's sleeping with thank all of you, them. Thank you, Wendy. And if you I are, keep it to yourself. I will do exactly that. Okay. I will do exactly that. But I'm wondering if I should inform them or just keep it to myself. No. 
No. No, because you've only been dating them each for like six months, yeah. and you're feeling it out. Yeah. Now, do you like one of them that you, the, the other two might be eliminated, and you might start? You don't know. You're having fun. Yeah. Continue to have fun. Okay. And be safe. Thank you. Come on out. Sorry. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good. Hi, Wendy. My name is Tamira. I'm 28. I'm a single parent of a daughter age six. But I'm thinking about having another baby by the age of 30, and I'm wondering, is it a bad idea to do it with my ex, even though we're not romantically involved right now? Yes. This is a terrible idea. Why? Well, first of all, he's your ex for a reason. Yeah, that's true. Second of all, 30 is still, you still have good eggs at oh. 30. Like, don't, don't be, don't rush it, you know. Okay. Babies should be, in a, in a perfect world, created out of love, not yeah. out of desperation. True, Okay, true, so don't, true. don't be desperate, okay? Thank you, Wendy. You're very welcome, Tamara. We have time for one more quick one. Come on out. Hi, Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? My name's Kelly, and the last guy that I dated told me that he was divorced. And six months into it, I found out that he was actually married. And I have a daughter, and I don't want to invite crazy people into our lives. So right. would you say it would be safe to do background checks? Um, ba background checks or follows, well, you know, low in the seat, you know, see. <laughs> I mean, back, I, listen, I'm all for hiring PIs. I'm all for background jack, checks. I'm all for renting a strange car and doing a crazy follow. I, I'm all for all of that because you do have a daughter. Even if you didn't have a daughter, yeah. the point is, is that there are a lot of crazy people out there before your heart gets really involved, exactly. you know. Now, how did you find out that he was married? He wasn't spending the night at your house? It all just came out. Did he ever spend the night at your house? No. But you all were having the sex. <laughs> At your house? No. At hotels? <laughs> no, we n never. You never had the sex? No. Mm -hmm. Did he meet your daughter? No, he didn't, but I was contemplating good, it. Good, so that's what made me you. start asking more questions. So how did you find out? Through a friend. Uh -huh. And what did the friend tell you? Come on, give us she some She said the they were just separated. So he told me that they were divorced for two years. First of all, I don't think it's really a good, good idea to date separated people, but life happens and sometimes it happens because separation only means they're putting a pause and they might get back together. But um, life happens and so therefore so a lot of people do date separated people, but you have to proceed with caution. Yes, a background check is cute if you can afford it. Okay. Okay? All right. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Pop quiz is next. Don't go far. Player. What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, my name is Marilyn. I'm from the Lower East Side in Manhattan. Oh. How are you doing? How are you doing, Marilyn? I'm doing good. Okay, so here we go. How much money was Chris Brown uh, recent... Wait. How much money was Chris Brown recently paid in cash? Was it $25,000, $50,000, or $75,000? I think it was $50,000. Yes! yes! and my fabulous co-host, my studio audience. Yay! Tomorrow, Hollywood legend George Hamilton returns to the Wendy Couch, and rock and roll royalty Kimberly Stewart will be here for the first time. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye-bye.